guys okay so you've just maybe watched me uh, do a fast forward of possibly every OCD guy's worst nightmare um, which is my my little build here now everything looks chaotic um, I actually did think this through so the UCs go underneath and they tuck the battery in I think I might print something to hold these um, all those strips what we call them um, is only there to actually keep the BTX and the radio um, in place and then I just added this foam on top just to keep it from damaging and added extra strips in order for this not to bend down to the props and this as well so yeah I actually did order a um, Atom V2 like a, a real one um, but I wanted this one to just test stuff on and the worst thing is now I'm out here to actually test it and guess who left the plug in so there's no battery on this which means that I will um, probably not be, be recording this but I will test it and I will tell you what I think about it after and then I'll do a video later of it actually flying <laughs> Okay, so I um, want to touch up real quick on the Atom thingy. Now, I have ordered and bought the Atom V2. Uh, it's going to arrive sometime during this week, I hope. And in the meantime, what I did is I ordered the frame and the motors, uh, the 1306 4100 KB motors. Um, now, the reason I did this was that I had a KISS FC lying around. I had some KISS 30 amp ESCs, which is definitely too much for it but I had them lying around so I just wanted to do it I don't care about the OSD um, so this is like a KISS FC KISS 30 amp ESCs a power distribution board a TBS micro receiver because I'm using Crossfire and a TBA, uh, TBS Unify 800 uh, or 5G by 5G8 whatever it's called HV Pro the 800 milliwatt uh, VTX transmitter now I am so happy about this thing. Um, I am very curious to see if the Atom V2 that I'm gonna get is actually better or worse than this. Because this one with an 800 milliamp three cell battery weighs 800, uh, 800 grams, 145 grams, which is less than the Atom V2 with a 800 cell 3S battery, uh, 800 milliamp 3S battery weighs. So in theory, this outperforms it. And it doesn't have the OSD. It doesn't have a lot of the stuff that the other one has, but and this is my point. This is on KISS hardware, which means that all I've done is I've taken the PID settings from this one, which flies fantastic, and I've put the same stuff in there, and I didn't know if it, if, if it was gonna work, but it works exactly like the big one. The only difference between these two, apart from the obvious size, is the fact that this one, of course, has less power, but it also weighs less. So in reality, um, 
they're the same machine in my mind right now. When I'm flying with them, it feels exactly the same. Uh, this floats like extremely well in the air. It, uh, it is able to gain altitude really fast. The flips and rolls are just on point with this. Uh, the fine control is fantastic. I feel more confident with this um, than I do with the Alien because, and this is another important point for me, with this one I would be able to go into a park and fly. I would be able to go uh, you know, anywhere and fly because it's 145 grams, I don't want it in my face. But if I get it, um, it's going to be a better alternative than this one. And more importantly, I would never fly with this one with other people around because this feels like a danger. Um, this one feels like a toy, except for when you're flying it, it doesn't feel like a toy, but for everybody else and for all other reasons, it looks like a toy, which means that I can kind of relax and focus on flying, um, which just inspires more confidence and, and makes me a better pilot, I guess. Um, so one of the points I'm trying to make is that I'm going to do a video of the Atom V2 when it arrives, and I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison or something along the lines of that uh, to see if the one I built is actually better than the one they have. But my recommendation for people out there who currently have a drone or don't have a drone, like if you don't have a, a quad right now, what you want to do is you want to start off by getting the um, the tiny whoop. Practice this indoors. Once you get good at it, you place the board in here with a uh, acro board like the B brain, and then you practice loops and rolls. Maybe do that outside. Once you progress from that, I would say that if you're not comfortable building your own quad. You get the Atom V2, uh, that is all done. If you're comfortable building it, you build it like this. Um, and then after that point, I don't know what you're going to get, because a lot of people I don't think are going to be interested in actually moving up. The only reason I can see that you're using this now is because you want more. Uh, you want more power, more speed, and that is a lot of fun. But I'm going to be flying this for the next long, long while, because this just makes me able to do all the things I really want to do, which is you know, loop trees in a park, uh, fly in an abandoned uh, playground, stuff like that. But this is stuff I don't want to do with my uh, my alien yet. Um, and I do feel I am capable of it. I do feel I have the skills for it. I just don't feel that that this is safe enough to do it. Because if something goes wrong, this is something that would kill people if, if they get hit in the head by it. This could kill them as well, but it's still a toy. It's not that dangerous in comparison to a lot of other things or people taking an RC car and smacking it into somebody. And, well, a little bit different, but you know what I mean. Um, but this thing is definitely... I, I, I cleaned it up a bit too instead of my OCD build. I simply cut the frame, put in some uh, some heighteners, and everything is rock solid here. And at some point I'm going to remove the antenna up here and actually put a session on it um, and go for us. The only issue I had with this build is that the battery lies really nice between the ESCs, but the actual ESCs are not protected, so I landed in some mud, which caused that motor to not work until the mud had dried. Um, so I'm going to revisit that and see if I can uh, print up an enclosure or do something about that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, sorry for not making a video for so long. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I am looking forward to making the Atom V2 um, comparison of this and in the meantime if you have the skills if you know how to build a quad and if you're in doubt for some reason this frame this layout this actual frame and these actual motors do it just go do it put a clean flight board in there put a kiss board in there just go buy that stuff don't wait for the the, the actual atom b2 the only thing you're going to have trouble with is you have to place the ESCs underneath the arms which i don't think is a bad thing you have to consider the possibility of ditching the OSD because there's not enough space for it. I mean, I have my VTX in here, uh, which is a Unify 800 milliwatt. I have my micro USB receiver, which, I mean, they don't get much smaller. And still, the whole frame is raised up off the ground and leaning, you know? Uh, you're not going to have space for an OSD unless you make space for an OSD. And personally, I don't need one. I, I know my settings, I know everything, and... Um, the rest is, is just gravy. I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Atom V2, but all those features will be good if you're new to it and you want to mess about with pits, you want to mess about with rates. But for those of you that know your rates and have a good feeling about your hardware, this is just a way to, to kind of replicate that in a smaller flying platform, which I think is definitely becoming the future. I think these are the dinosaurs of the past. We're going to see less of these and we're going to see a whole lot more of these. This is enough to race, 
this is legal it's 145 grams this has as much lifting power as the alien has in comparison to weight but this can also go from a 3s which it is right now to a 4s and put a session camera on top which means that you get the quality of video and flying from this and this so yeah definitely very excited about that anyways thanks for watching see you later